hello again with my the similar the same outfit not the similar one to the one I wore in the video before because I'm filming this right after but I wanted to like do a short thing about my TBR for the coming year so I'm kind of a mood reader um, I kind of have a setup TBR but usually I still pick depending on my mood like I don't plan it too strictly but I really had this idea of like for like I got it a few months ago um, that I really wanted to make this upcoming year a book like a year a book of the year a year of books where I like you know read the like I give attention to the thick ones to the thick boys um, and yeah I'm gonna try to do that I'm a slow reader as you may know if you've been frequenting the channel like this year um, and yeah, so I'm a mood reader and and a slow reader, so that's kind of an interesting combo. But I really, you know, so every time I've had these like goals for the year, which was okay, like it didn't, I always tried to make mine so I wouldn't have to rush. Like for this year, I had 30 books, but then I changed it, changed it to 26, yeah, to 26. I changed it to 26 because... Um, you know, I, I knew that I'm I'm not gonna make it unless, you know, I did like some very, very like fast reading of like mangas or something and I wanted to enjoy it also and I just didn't want to give me like myself extra pressure. Oh, there's a car, a very loud car or maybe a motorcycle. But yeah, so I just, you know, brought it down a bit and I actually, hopefully I'm gonna reach 28 for this year, which is not 30. But it's still a very great number and I'm very happy with it. So for the upcoming year, I'm gonna set it to 8, I think, or no, 12. Probably like something in the very low numbers because I'm just gonna try to focus on reading the thick books that I have because I have quite a few and they intimidate me and I always kind of miss out on them because, you know, like I skip them because I want to read, you know, others that I'm still excited about but I just kind of try to you know focus on the quant uh, quantity of books and my TBR grew this year quite a bit because of Korea which I you know I was so good like getting so good at getting it down but yeah and I'm you know this is gonna slow it down too but I'm gonna try my best to just you know enjoy the ride um and yeah so now I'm gonna show you like a a bit of a just walking around my room and me picking out the big books that I have in my TBR. I kind of have a loose list. It's probably not gonna be all of them and I might just do an update at the end of the year where I talk about all the like you know have I read all the big books? Have I DNF'd some? Have I done anything with them? Maybe I just threw this whole thing out of the window and just read small books like the smallest I could find through throughout the rest of the year. I actually have like in my like sleep um, bed table, wait, so near my bedside table I actually have this like small pile of small books that maybe I'll take on my bus rides or maybe you know Maybe I'll do like a month of reading them to like get me hyped up, you know, and more confident. Or maybe I'll like sprinkle them in between reading the thick books because I usually read more than one book at a time and I still have some I haven't finished. I really wanted to finish all my books before the end of the year. That wasn't possible, but you know what happens, happens. So I hope I can finish them next year at least, which Murakami can't like <laughs> Sleeping Willow, um, Blind Woman can't relate, you know. Um, is it Blind Woman, Sleeping Willow? I always mix it up, but some of the two. Um, so yeah, so I have some of these and maybe I'll do a vlog about it. Maybe I won't, I don't know, because I'm a slow reader, as I've mentioned a thousand times before. But, you know, making a video like this kind of takes a lot of even extra effort because I don't read that fast. So the time frame like spans over quite a lot of time and I kind of lose track of what I filmed, what I've talked about and stuff like that. And I still unpick the last thing, um, besides the unfinished books that I'm still in the middle of, that are like being transferred over to the next year. I have the, uh, the Language of Letting Go, which was recommended by Hayley Williams, the solo art, like the soloist of 
um, Paramore, the vocal. Um, and I really, you know, quite enjoy her as a person, like what she puts out at least. Um, and she, I thought this was quite fitting for me. I want to, you know, discover things about myself this year, you know, kind of try to work on myself, which is a goal I have for every year, I guess. But, you know, I'm hoping this is going to be good. It's like, it has like these tasks for every day. Um, kind of like this, you know, there's like one day and the next. And not all of them, like, it's not everything is like each day. Sometimes it skips a few, which is still nice. But, and it's more fo focused focused on, um, I think, trauma um, and like grief. But I think you, you know, we all experience quite a lot of emotions in our lifetime. And I think it gets fit for everyone. So I'm going to try this and probably we'll talk about it later at some point. But yeah. This is only all these books I want to read. There's still like a lot of my TBR and there's a lot, but yeah, this is this is the main thing. And this is my idea. So now look at the video, look at the me picking up the book. So a mini vlog of all my this is one of my TBR shelves. And yeah, the thick books that I want to get to are there's some in here, so yeah. I mean, these are kind of considered thick, right? Yeah, it's 500 pages, and this one is 500 as well. So that goes into the pile. Um, do I? Yeah, there's there's also the amber. Amber something. It's the third part in the Golden Compass series. So this is the old edition, but I really like the cover. It's like the movie cover. And then we have this. It's Midnight Children, and it's been giving given me uh, to me by um like a neighbor. And at first I didn't want to take it because it's been like uh, I've been I've been giving this given this ages ago. And I didn't really want to take it, but she insisted, so I was like, okay, fine. Um, and then we have a Jungle Book, which I've heard is pretty racist, but I still kind of want to read it. I have it, so, you know, at this point, why not? I mean, it's a pretty good edition, but it's been published by a publisher that I hate. It's like a Lithuanian publisher that steals a lot of translations and they don't like pay their workers a lot of the time so yeah but i think it's yeah it's almost 500 pages as well and here like there's a thick one but i don't know if i'll read it and there's oh yeah i think this is it because this is um this is uh kafka on the shore i think it's in english but I don't know if I want to read any other Murakami anytime soon, so this will be for, late, for later. But these babies are definitely going into the thick book pile. And so continuing on in my Christmas tree that I don't want to... I mean, it's chaotic, but I don't want to like take it, you know, apart. So we have Oneron. I don't know, is that how you pronounce it? But I got it on a sale once. Um, wait, let me just close the door so it's not as echoey, but I got it on a sale once and I started, got kind of disturbed, so I don't know, but I think I'll try reading it. And then here, oh, this is backwards, well, uh, we have the glass bed game by the, by Hermann Hess and Hesse, Hess, I think it's Hess. I really did enjoy his other few books that I've read so far, so I really want to get to it. Because I've gotten it like ages ago. And then moving on. Uh, here we have. Um, what is it? Pachinko. Yeah. So we have this one. I really want to get to this year. This is my, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. But yeah. This is Pach Pachinko by Yi Min Jin. Um, and it's very thick. I think it's 
Oh, it's actually about like 600, 600 pages, so that's doable. But yeah, this is also... Oh god, I need to take that out of the way, but... This is also going to the pile. And then... We have... I mean, maybe I'm gonna consider... We have um, Orange Volume 2, like the Omnibus Volume. And I might consider this to the thick ones too, because I really want to read it. And it's been ages since I've had it. And I haven't read it. Like, I have only read the first part. And I kind of forgot a lot about it. So this is... I don't know if I'm... I'll leave it to the next Christmas, but this is Harry Potter. But let's just move on. I don't want to, you know, talk about it and the whole thing. It's just pretend it's not here, but it, I got it secondhand, so I didn't pay the offer like anything, thankfully. And then we have uh, the body rem remembers everything. I think that's probably how you could translate it by yeah this offer, and it's more of a nonfiction too. So hopefully you can get to it because you know I want to read more nonfiction this year, this upcoming year maybe. And lastly, we're back to my filming space. But I have Dune, which is, this is like a very pretty edition. But yeah, I have Dune and it's also very thick, but I'm really excited to get to it. Like the movie was confusing. I haven't watched all of it because we watched it with my, my friends and we kind of just like, you know, started chatting over it and we just didn't finish because it was just pretty hard to get into when you want to just to spend a night with your friends. But I really want to read it like I've read some parts of it like not parts of it it's just like a few pages because I just kind of got the sudden urge to actually read it but I knew I really shouldn't start it now and uh, like this some parts do seem nice like the few what like you know like this kind of lines that I've read they were nice uh and then lastly this this you've seen on my channel I think it's um, Blind Willow, Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami. And um, yeah, I still have about, I think it's 110 pages left. I've finished one short story recently and I started an another one, but I just haven't been in the mood. I don't know what it is because I know it's good. I know, like I enjoy uh, Murakami's short stories the most, but I still couldn't like, make myself to pick it up i don't know maybe it's just too intimidating to me now like because i know that i read him slow like pretty slowly so it's just hard to make myself read it i don't know maybe i'm just making it harder for myself or maybe it's the actual book but i really want to finish it please please gods book gods please i want to finish it mm, but yeah so i think these are all the big boys that i wanted to show you there's one lithuanian book uh Pragyad Relay. And, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, because I started it, I think, like about four years ago and I got it for my birthday and I enjoyed it, but it's really, like, it's a really thick and slow read. It's still in a Christmas tree as well, but I think it's somewhere, like, deep, deep there that I can't, like, even show you without taking the Christmas tree apart. But, yeah, I might just start to read at some point, but I'm not making any promises. I really do want to read more from Lithuanian authors, uh, you know, to, I want to make an effort to try to. So this is not exclusively just for, you know, gonna be like a thick book here, but I'm gonna try to focus more on them. So I'm actually making my Goodreads goal like smaller. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.